Y'all want to come with me down another rabbit hole of how the U.S. government is using private industry to fuck over the American people? This is going to be a quick video, but I wanted to put it out because I want to hear what people think. The basic gist is that the United States government is using BlackRock to permanently house all the illegal immigrants they've been letting in. So you know how companies like BlackRock have been buying up large amounts of the single-family real estate? And a shitload of the properties that they bought are in the state of New York. And New York just declared that they're going to pay homeowners there $125 a day to house a migrant. $125 a day per migrant, per bedroom. That means the taxpayers of New York are going to be paying $3,750 per migrant per month. Now think about all those houses that BlackRock bought. Let's say they got a four bedroom. That means they can house four migrants. And at $3,750 per migrant, that means that property would now be bringing in $15,000 a month. And if any of those migrants have a family, that's additional money on top. And BlackRock doesn't have to worry because the money's guaranteed by the government of New York. I mean, you have to think, so far in Biden's presidency, anywhere from 12 to 15 million illegals have crossed over. And then because of all the incentive programs that New York created, if you enter this country illegally, you'd have to be stupid not to go to New York. You're going to get paid. You're going to get fed. You're going to get housed. All for the price of either a bus trip up there, or maybe you can catch one of those flights that Biden's been sending under everyone's radar. But regardless, you're going to go to New York, where BlackRock owns thousands of homes. And I'd be willing to bet a lot of those homes are about to have an illegal immigrant as a tenant. And they're going to make sure they get at least one in every bedroom. And I would expect that this continues at least until the census.